Sandra for having me today. I actually had a background in international relations in my bachelor's degree, and then I did a master program in international affairs. During that program, I was involved in a student activity called Just Innovate. It was an event that focused on developing solutions for international organizations or NGOs using innovation methodologies. That was the first time I heard about design thinking, for example, and all the other innovative processes that we usually use um, in the field of innovation. And after that, I graduated. I was actually looking at other options for my career, and I joined UNICEF as an intern in the fundraising innovation team. Somehow all the dots connected when I looked back. Our team is working to support UNICEF markets that is doing fundraising in private sector to develop new innovative solutions. So it's more in the area of business model innovation. And I've been working in this team for almost three years, I would say. And I have been really enjoying this journey so far. I think my interpretation about innovation, the word changed at different stages of my life because I didn't actually see myself as a very creative person back in school. I was always very well organized and I planned everything thoroughly. I'm that type of personality. So innovation at that time sounds a little bit far away from me, especially because I study humanities. But then I did the program that I mentioned about social innovation back when I was doing my master's degree. And I got to know that innovation is not just about cool, fancy technologies, but it's also a methodology and also a mindset. And then I started working. I actually started to see hands-on how business model innovation means and how is it actually applied in workplaces. And now when I think about innovation, I think it's about asking questions. Innovation is also about learning to be comfortable with moving things forward with ambiguity. The more I get into this field, the more I realize maybe I should need to embrace uncertainty at different stages and be open to new changes, to new ways of working. For the nonprofit sector, I would say innovation is the newly emerging areas where more and more organizations start to pay attention to. The first impact I have observed in the nonprofit sector is that more and more organizations start to adopt a human centered approach in terms of program design. So, more and more organizations start to organize workshops, brainstorming sessions, starting from the people who are actually being impacted by the program. This is a big trend that I see not only in UNICEF, but also other organizations that are running similar processes. A second impact that I think is really positive is the openness to the private sector and to new technologies. For example, in our work, because we do fundraising innovation, we got the opportunity to engage with a lot of startups, with corporate partners in the private sector. And by working with them, their way of working will influence us back. And I think that's very, very valuable. So last year, there has been an initiative called Reimagining Fundraising. It's an open innovation challenge. It was a challenge to call for innovative ideas and proven concepts in the space of private sector fundraising. NGOs need to deliver their programs with sufficient funding support. And that's why we not only ask for money from the governments, we also try to fundraise from um, the private sector, from individuals, companies, etc. The result of the challenge went beyond um, my expectation because overall we got more than 200 submissions, which was amazing. Another thing that was amazing is that we ran a very smooth evaluation process with the input from more than 90 evaluators. It was a great collaboration from all the stakeholders in different organizations. It was such an amazing experience to see it through as part of the organizing team last year. Probably as a young person also navigating through the landscape in innovation, there are so many possibilities around innovations. So you don't necessarily need to be a scientist, for example, to make a contribution in the field of innovation. There are a lot of stuff going around like project management, etc., 
that actually I think is open to many more people. If you're interested in the field of innovation, don't hesitate to explore beyond the traditional understanding of being what is an innovation in a tech world. The second thing is I would really love to see more women in this sector. I remember participating in one of the startup hackathon and there was a final pitch at the end and all the pitch coming from 15 organizations, only one of them was from a women presenter. There definitely need to be more representation of female in this area and it would be great if we see more and more talents coming in in the future.